Good morning, guys. I thought I would start this vlog off with a little cooking tutorial for anyone else that is low carb, just like me. This is for um, low carb crepes or low carb. I call them crepes because um, I make mine like a little thinner and pancakes, I mean, they're just super thin. So I like to roll them up with some peanut butter in it and it's really good. Okay, so you could probably use like a mixer or something, but I'm using a blender on the soup setting and how this basically goes is um, when I normally make it for myself, I do two eggs um, with about, how much cream? Yeah, probably about two ounces of cream cheese or a little more. And I think I'm gonna do four eggs with four ounces of cream cheese. So here is the little mixture so far. And then we're just gonna add some cinnamon. I like to add a lot of cinnamon. It gives it a lot of good flavor. I'm also gonna add this chocolate donut seasoning from Flavor God. This has no calories, carbs, anything. It's so good. These are expensive, I've mentioned them before, but I use them for like literally everything. That's good. And that's just like, a ne that's not a necessary step, so you can still make these without that. Then we're just going to sweeten, and you can sweeten it as much as you want. And then there's a pancake mixture, and I'm gonna use the soup setting on this thing, but you don't need a soup setting, but it's just a pancake. And it doesn't look like it, but it is. <laughs> So then we use a lot of butter. Um, you're supposed to have a lot of fat on a low carb diet. That's the way it works. And you use a lot of butter because these are so thin that they really like need it. And it's on medium heat, actually more like low medium heat. I don't like them to burn. And you pour it in and it really thins out so you don't need that much. So yeah, that's about good. And then you just wait till the corners start browning and flip it. Now when you're flipping these, I'm probably not even gonna do it on camera because it's like, it's kind of hard. I don't even think this one's ready yet. Let's put that back. Um, but you gotta do it really fast and you gotta be like, get as much under it as you can. That's why you can't make them too big because they'll break and fall apart. Which then you can eat them kind of like scrambled, but it's not as good. And these are just like super, super thin. So um, this amount gives us like plenty for me and Josh. And it's crazy because all it really is is egg and cream cheese with like, um, which you wouldn't even need the rest of the stuff like Splenda. Uh, cinnamon, but it's really good. I roll mine up with some peanut butter in it, and it is amazing. You kind of have to baby them. That's why I don't like make these every day. I make them like every once in a while, and Josh is working from home today, so I thought I would make them. You haven't worked from home in so long. Like, it's, it's been like, like a week. no, I feel like it's been like two weeks. It's been so long. All right, perfect. So this one flipped. So here's what it looks like done. Let's get it. Oh, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Let's see if I can. Oh, I don't want to break it. I probably need to put this down. And that one is perfectly made. So this one kind of broke, but it's filled with uh, uh, peanut butter. I almost said cream cheese. And then I just put a little bit of sugar-free syrup, like a couple drops on the top, and it is so good. My freaking meatball peed all over my Michael Kors bag, and I have to throw it out, you guys. That's Sucks. You should wait. Let me see the back. Ruined. Meatball. Why are you peeing on things? It's not like I can even get madder because she probably doesn't even know. So I'm about to walk into the nail salon to meet my friend Kristen so we can get our nails done. I'm in desperate need of a rebase. So I just got done at the nail salon. I didn't vlog, of course, I forgot, but me and my friend friend Kristen went. We've been getting our nails done together and it's really fun because we can kind of just catch up and make the experience of getting your nails done, which is pretty boring, a little more fun. Um, anyways, I'm gonna head to the grocery store now, grab some things for dinner, but look how good these look. I decided to go with French this time because since we we're gonna do those engagement photos this weekend, I thought they would look nice with it, so yes. So I'm in the mood to cook, um, and I really like trying to tweak recipes or like just do something without a recipe, and that's what I wanna do. So I think I'm gonna try like a completely new recipe 
I mean, there is no recipe, so I would just be making it up as I go, but I think it would be really, really good. Decided to take pictures for a blog post, and then if it's bad, I just won't use them, but <laughs> we'll see how this recipe goes. So cute, whenever I cook, Lily always chills in the kitchen with me. Like, she just stands by me. She's such a good helper. Looking good so far, but this is gonna go on top of chicken and spinach. I'm gonna add some ricotta to it. I'll put the full recipe below if this ends up being good though. Everybody's hungry, feeding time. This is what we put on top of Tucker's food. It's called Viralize, and it's for cats with feline herpes, or maybe some other types of things too. But that's what our vet gave us for him when we first got him. Look at this thing my mom gave me. It says, Lord, keep your arm around my shoulder and your hand over my mouth. I'm not even religious. I don't know why she bought me that, but it's kind of funny. Um, anyway, that looks really good. Got about 20 minutes left. Let that keep cooking. You guys should leave a comment that says what we should name this. It's like ricotta, you, it's not, spinach, you stuffed chicken. Recipes. No, I just made it. You completely just made it up right now. Yeah, I need to come up with. A What's name the ingredients for it? at least? Can you name? Yeah, it? I said ricotta, chicken, spinach, kale. Um, kale? You won't even taste it, babe. You put kale in Don't here? Oh, nice. I love kale. It's like a superfood. Cheese. Mozzarella cheese and then a special tomatoey sauce. So like, what do you think? It's kind of like Italian. Yeah, it's Italian ricotta stuffed chicken. I don't know. We should come up with like a good name for it though. Chicken parm. Okay, Josh just came up with a name for the chicken, <laughs> which he obviously really liked. The only name for this food right here mm -hmm. is the chillest cheesy chicken. Chillest cheesy Chill chicken. Chill cheesy chicken. C C C. Wow, you're like really bad at names, but I don't know, guys. No, it's really good. You'll have to say in the comments. Mm. Do you think we should name it something else or go with chillish cheesy chicken? Chill cheesy chicken. Chill cheesy chicken. It's what's for dinner. We have to move our entire guest list to our wedding website. Which we didn't realize we couldn't two? import it. So this is literally the third time we've redone our guest list. We're just trying to stay positive, obviously, with the music that's playing right now. Get a ball for that thing. <laughs> so it's Wednesday now. Um, I have this shirt. How funny is this? Nope, not today. <laughs> Pretty much how I feel today. Anyway, I'm getting a haircut here soon. My mom is like gonna be here any second with my dog. Um, we're gonna watch him for the next week when she goes to Arizona. And then me and her are gonna get our hair done together. She's gonna get color and I'm gonna just gonna get a cut, which I'm in desperate need of a cut, like really bad. These two are just like so cute. Yeah, I guess so you're gonna go see Josh and Kendall and Tucker. <laughs> Tucker, come here. <laughs> Josh loves Chance. He's so excited that we get to watch him this week. Casey, where's your drink? Go get a drink. Where's your drink? 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 <laughs> so cute. Getting her hair done. What? Where did you get trimmed up? Yep. I'm gonna get trimmed. Zing volume. That gorgeous hair. It's it's too, too long. Yeah. Too long. Got my hair cut. I think it looks a lot better. I got short layers, which everyone always told me not to do because I have thin hair. But she was like, it would be so much better for volume for you. Kind of teased it and yeah, looks really good. I needed it. It feels like I love that feeling of like after you get your hair cut, it feels so like healthy. <laughs> Three kids I'm singing. Jeff, Jeff. This is my grandpa's dog on Anastasia. Jeff. He's like slowly then, closing his eyes. I'm saying, Jack, you're kind of buzzed out. Kind of go nice with song. it, man. Go with it. Just go with it. And then he tries to straighten up. Watch his, watch his expression. Like a person would. Like, I'm, not, I'm not falling asleep. Oh, it's so cute. She wants to lay his head down so bad. I'm like, put your, your head is heavy. Lay your head down. Good night. 
Isn't that so oh, funny? But I like so how he, he perked himself up like I'm I'm not really falling asleep. <laughs> We're at the tavern. Tavern has really good club salad. They're all over Colorado. Where is this one? We are on West Wash Park on um, South Gaylord Street. Mm. Which is near Wash Washington Park. Josh is here. Yep. Near the Wash Park Grill. Mm. I'm gonna get this cob salad. So you guys, I ordered this um, water bottle off of Amazon, and I just wanted a water bottle, um, but I didn't even know this. This is so cool. I think this is by, I have no idea. I'll link the water bottle below, but okay. In here, there's like this little thing, which I have filled with like Mio, like the liquid flavor stuff. I didn't even know this. What you do, you can fill it with lemon or any type of flavor, and then you just press the button on the top, and it releases some into it which is so convenient because like I've had times where I take my I love flavored water it's how I get myself to drink more water so like when I'm out I'm always like oh I'll run out of the flavored water and then I'll have to have like fountain water but <laughs> you could fill this up and then have that with you like I feel like this would be so convenient if you worked in an office or something so this was like pretty cheap and I didn't even know it came with that feature so I wanted to share that I'm so like I love how close Tucker and Chancer, like that's so cute. They can totally get along. These two are like so fine together. Do you think we should get a dog, Tucky? You seem to like Chancy. Yes. Got my cat mama shirt on, and I think we're just gonna chill. I'm really tired. Um, I did a bunch of wedding stuff today. I've been trying to figure out the tables and like matching a table runner and really, what is that? So funny. Damn, Daniel. Chancy, you gonna wake up anytime today? <laughs> hey guys, so it is a Wednesday or Thursday now, and I'm on my way to get a facial. I bought a Groupon for like a couple facials at this place. I think it's called the Glam Beauty Lounge or something. And it's a package of three. I'm trying to get a facial once a month before the wedding just to make sure my skin's in nice, good condition. I read it on a wedding blog. Anyway, so I'm gonna go do that now. I've had a crazy morning. Oh my gosh, I was on the phone with the florist for the wedding for like another, for like an hour or so, um, trying to, <laughs> there's just so many details and they're doing a lot of decorating and she might even be my day of coordinator. So we just were talking about a lot of things, but anyway, got off the phone with her, then I talked to my dad, and then I had to call my mom. And you know, my mom, as I mentioned last night, was on her way to Arizona today, so she was at um, the airport, and I was talking to her, and I got her totally distracted, and she missed her flight. And I feel so bad, because the flight was at 12.30. I talked to her, like, probably 12, and then at around 12.15, I thought, like, huh maybe she's supposed like should I say something but then I like I kept getting distracted and I didn't say anything and um, I thought maybe her flight was actually later or I just figured she was like standing right there and she would see but apparently she had walked away from the gate I wish I said something I felt so bad she missed her her um, boarding time by like three minutes and they wouldn't let her on the flight so it fucking sucks I just felt so bad because she was really excited she's going like with all her friends um, for like a little ladies getaway but she was like incredibly calm about it like she wasn't mad at all she's like oh things happen like my mom's very like that um she's not one to like get freaked out over i mean she's very go with the flow so i was the one freaking out trying to find her another flight but um the good news is they didn't charge her for it at all like they didn't um do a rescheduling fee which is like a 100 bucks and so she didn't have to pay that Anyway, I just feel really bad about it, but you know, life goes on, it will get figured out, and she will be fine, like, you know, she'll get there eventually, and so I'm gonna go get this facial now, try to chill, I was pretty stressed out earlier dealing with all of that. So cool, look at this, it's so cute. I will definitely link this below if any of you guys are in the Denver area. How pretty is this little room, though? 
Like I'm obsessed with her decor. Okay, I gotta get naked now. <laughs> so I just finished up the facial. My face is a little red, but so soft. I actually got microdermabrasion. It was so good. I'm gonna link the group on and her, um, she does tons of services. Um, if you guys are interested, and if you if you go, you should tell her that I sent you. Yeah, so she does facials, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, lash extension, skin care, um, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, <laughs> Da Vinci, teeth whitening, beautiful airbrush tanning, full body waxing, and skin care. She does a lot, and she was very, very knowledgeable, and um, it was a really clean environment. So definitely recommend it. I, my skin's really red. For those of you who haven't had a facial, they do extractions. So they use like this little tool, and they like pull everything out. It kind of hurts, but... It's like so good for your skin. So it's kind of in need of it. But I think I'm gonna run over to Target because it's like right next door and get some um, Biore pore strips because she told me that I should try them. And I've actually been wanting to try them for so long. So I, I mean, surprisingly, I've never tried those. Like being a, a beauty guru, a really bad beauty guru apparently. Pretty sure I look insane right now. My, yes, I do. My face looks fucked. I think I must look insane because I was getting so many looks in Target. Like people are staring at me like my head was gone. But maybe that's just me. No, I'm pretty sure they were looking at me. I look a little like, maybe I look like I've been crying or something. I have just a lot of red. Gotta like zip home now because I forgot like to take Chance out before I left. Um, I think he went out at like nine, but oops, it's like 2.45. I'm not used to it. That's the only thing about getting a dog is like, cats are so easy. I wanna get a dog, but it's like, it's a lot of responsibility and I feel like I'll be really forgetful a lot of the times because I'm definitely not used to that. But I'm rushing home. Hopefully he didn't go to the bathroom or anything. I bet you anything, he just sleeps all the time. But he's just passed out still. He's just where I left him. You wanna go out? Gotta go potty? He's gotta go on a walk. Jay, you go for a walk? <laughs> it's like half asleep. Who wants to go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Yeah? Let's go, Chanty boy, come on. Come on, you seem so sleepy. <laughs> my face is like angry, <laughs> but it feels so smooth. Microdermabrasion is like really soft. It makes, I mean, it makes your skin really soft. It's not soft. For such an old little dude, Chance loves walks. Like he loves the smells and exploring and, oh, he's actually pretty strong for a little dude. Come back. Hey, Chance, this way. Dum Dum, we're not going that way, this way. Come on. I got him in fifth grade, so I think he's like pretty old now. I feel like I had something in the mail. Come on, let's go to the mailboxes. I can't remember. Come on, dude. He's like the worst one to walk though, because he likes to like walk off the trail so much. Like he was never trained. If I get a dog, I really want to train it well. So I'm gonna have a little snack here. Some olives. <laughs> I actually love olives. And I eat them with some blue cheese. Sometimes I like even stuff it inside. And a good snack. You guys remember, um, I bought the shake weight uh, in my sleep, or really late at night, or I could have been drinking, but I don't remember buying it. But it was not ex it wasn't that expensive, so I just kept it. And I was kind of thinking, like, I really do need to tone my arms. Not even just tone, but, like, I am weak as fuck. Like, I can't even, like, carry in that many groceries. Like, I used to be able to hold a lot more than I used to be. So I'm like, I really want to, like, especially before the wedding, it'd be nice to just, like, tone up a bit. Um, but it would be nice to just be a little stronger. So I'm gonna like, I have this thing, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna work out tonight, um, like the elliptical, like do cardio, but I never do any strength. So I'm gonna try this. Just like looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna try a YouTube shake work, shake weight workout and see how it goes. No, the shake weight is actually a pretty effective workout. I'm like out of breath. I also tried to do some, I've been doing squats um, like when I work out, but I'm gonna try to start doing squats every day. I just really want to strengthen my muscles. I'm going to try to edit this vlog um, before Josh gets home so that I can make dinner and everything and go to the gym. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you next time.